So the game finally got a patch update, which fixed a lot of things. So we're going to take advantage of that. And so one of the things the patch notes mentioned is this thing called a mo hole, which apparently is a, it's a hole on moho, but not something like this crater. It's supposed to go like way deep into the planet. And I thought that'd be fun to check out. I also just realized there's like a gigantic crater on this side of it. Wonder what happened. But anyway, this seemed like a good idea to use our old reliable rocket. But I do think it'd be fun to land in the hole. So we got to change only a few things about this. Name putting some legs on our big old golf ball here which i think could reach all the way down let's see let's deploy them <laughs> okay it kind of work if the thruster didn't exist it also kind of looks like that one robot from the incredibles but if we move these down like this i mean it's kind of connected but also the thruster's in the way regardless if we turn off the fairing on this thruster here could we attach the legs on this point i'm not entirely sure it looks like a no well kind of it's kind of difficult because moho doesn't have an atmosphere for us to slow down with so if we get the legs way down here here and extend <laughs> yeah we'll just crush the thruster behind us and that'll solve the issue rotate them out like this and then just a little more down and a little more so we could attach the legs down here i think that'd be okay and then from there we just rotate them so they're flat that actually looks pretty good and we don't really need the fairing so i think that's all we need to do we'll have all the fuel in the world to slow us down so we have good things going for us here also because there's no atmosphere we really don't need these unless we decide to come back yeah we could try that we could try to return the curbin. I'm sure Jebediah would like that very much. So let's get this trip started. Uh, oh, yep. I am now remembering how wobbly this thing is initially. So the issue that we're going to have now, since we're not just trying to exit the solar system like we did before, is we have to tilt this thing so we can actually get on a good trajectory to Moho. Hopefully enough of this holds together that we can do that. It's kind of wobbly on the outside thrusters right now. Or not thrusters, the boosters. But it is going exactly where I want it to. So that's a good thing. I just love how it's making corrections every second to account for the wobbling. That is ridiculous. But Jeb's having a great time. And okay, normally we would begin to tilt now, but I'm really not trusting all these boosters right here. So maybe we'll wait until this stage separates before trying to do anything like that. There we go. And then these split off. Good to know all of this is working good. Oh gosh, it's starting to tilt the wrong way. Ah, quick boost, 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 boost. Okay, and then lock or uh, you know what? Perhaps is ah not good not good not good oh goodness gracious this is gonna be very bad for us come on just quick turn around like that correct yourself slow down slow down slow down okay okay I think we fixed it a little up no 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 up like that up like that up like that okay okay and okay we're going pro grade which is a good thing and we're actually kind of going the right way it's hard to tell because we're rotated but this is the line that we want to be on so we're actually pretty good right now but we're also drastically tilting so let's lock where we are right now so that the pro grade stops going down are we going down right now oh dear we really need to push this out we're not even out of the upper reaches of atmosphere i mean we kind of are we need we need a lot more altitude than this so let's maybe work our way to going more of an upward angle like that uh-huh just keep it like this and okay we are out of that so we separate this one keep boosting we really need to boost our altitude numbers which we are it's just later than i would like but very gradually we are pushing this out now it also changed how a lot of this looks that doesn't have the exclamation points anymore some fun little changes like that i don't mind it and really if we're only using these boosters to get out of kerbin's gravity i don't mind that all too much okay we're getting some good altitude there so now we can start to burn prograde and push this orbit out which is going very good for us i can't wait until apoapsis either because these boosters just burn until they can't okay so now that one is done so we'll separate these to reduce the weight and i think now the reaction wheel should work a lot better with the reduced mass and yeah it's kind of holding right there but now i'm gonna wait until we get to apoapsis and push the orbit out until it's a complete orbit and then we start going towards the center so why don't we burn right now and then let the thruster fix it even though we kind of lost sounds right now and there we go now we have a complete orbit but now we also just can't turn off the booster so we're in this for the wild ride and here we get to really experience the silence of the vacuum i guess there's still a few bugs that they haven't fixed but it's good to know that they're working on it and that apoapsis is getting pushed way 
way out the wrong way. Well, as long as we're leaving orbit, it should be fine. We can honestly decouple right now if we want. How is the orbit looking on the grand scale? Okay. Oh, that's actually pulling that in right now. So it's a good idea to keep this burning. Interesting. And now that's done. So we'll separate it. I'm really not sure how those orbit physics work, but the periapsis is very close to Moho right now, which means that we can save a lot of fuel once we burn here. And oh, wow, this gimbal is different too. That's pretty fun. So we just pull this in some more and all right. So Moho is going to be there by the time we're there, which is not ideal. But as long as we can get within Moho's orbit, then we can go from there. And it looks like they also added another digit to the burn clock. So it actually has days. Oh, it actually shows you how long the burn is going to be. So many things work better now and I like it. So now let's fast forward as we are leaving Kerbin behind us and count down on ending the burn and we're done. Okay, where are we at? And we are exactly where we thought we would be. That is very excellent. Okay, so now we have to fix getting to Moho at all. So supposing we burn retro over here. So if we did this, we'd be chasing Moho for like pretty much ever. We're also not really in line with the tilt of it. So let's see here. If we start burning radial like this. Oh, but that uses so much. I don't want to do that. If we choose another point to burn retrograde, then we can get very close to it on a second path like this, which honestly might be better for us because then we can go from here back to Kerbin. So then we burn anti-normal like this and that closes in. Oh, it's so close. Just a little less like that. And it's so close to overlapping. I have no idea why it isn't. It's still very, very barely far apart. So a little bit like that, maybe a little something like this. No, not quite. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. We're on the intercept course and we're being very generous with our Delta V. Generous as in we keep more of it. It's also way on the other side. This is a lengthy burn here, almost half a year away. So now we do got to be careful here because I don't know if they fixed it, but the time warp gets weird getting close to an entry of sphere of influence. So if we just time warp to here, Whoa. Okay, that's far enough away from my liking. Where, oh gosh, that sun is so bright <laughs> when we're this close. I bet if I just turn the pod a little bit this way. Yep, Jebediah can get a real nasty sunburn like that. <laughs> Oh dear. I don't even know what I'm supposed to look at when I'm going this way. We're still able to eclipse the sun though, so that's kind of surprising. Nighttime, daytime, nighttime. Daytime. Oh, the sun actually looks different in the map view. I didn't realize that. So many fun little changes on patch day. But now let's just manually get ourselves closer to Moho, which is actually kind of down there right now. How are we going to enter it? That's what I want to know. Okay, let's slow down here. Focus on it. Okay, we're actually passing really close to it. Okay, so we're entering here and exiting there. Interesting. We're gonna need to slow down a lot in order for Moho to keep us or speed up, one of the two. We'll figure that out when we get there, once we get closer. I actually kind of wonder if we create a maneuver here, if we can see that better. Let's see, let's focus on Moho and then watch the thingy. Dial back this way. Yeah, slowing down a whole lot. That really puts us close curving right around it. So that might actually be ideal. Actually, you know what we want? We want to be above the planet because the hole is supposed to be on top here. Uh, the texture does something weird right there. So maybe that's where it is. We'll find out when we get closer. But right now, that's not too bad. We can go with that. So we can just warp to that point as the planet gets closer to our shuttle. And okay, stop. It's still two hours out. How is distance so weird like that? But also, can we see Moho from here? There's a sun. Uh, where is the down? In where is <laughs> where is down in space? That's what I'm trying to figure out. There's our target right there. We're getting real close to it. So at this point, I'm not sure what my odds are of getting back to Kerbin, but Moho's our main objective. Getting back to Kerbin will just be a little extra if we can manage to pull this off, which I think we'll be able to. So let's warp a little closer. All right, not sure how long this burn's gonna be. Oh, actually, 52 minutes. Not 50, not minutes, 52 seconds. That's totally okay with me. And yeah, we are massively slowing down right there. But at least this thing stays nice and straight now. And then three, two, one, done. All right, so then we're gonna need a maneuver uh, once we enter Sphere of Influence, which isn't showing up in the Moho thing anymore. But I guess at that point, it's just a matter of burning really retro until we get captured by the planet. So let's start speeding up and then watch as Moho gets closer. It's so weird how like the smallest planet in the system can still get so big. And Jebediah is looking real excited right now. He's about to visit another planet. And now once we are in the Sphere of Influence, we can slow down. All right. 
interesting. We're going this way now, which is still very weird to me, but that's what we're doing. So, okay. How much do we have to burn in order to be captured by the planet? All right. A thousand, two thousand. Whoa. Oh, there's collision. That might actually be what we need. At this point, I'm not really worried about returning the Kerbin. I just want to land in the hole. Jebediah is going to score a hole in one with this, and then it'll just be a matter of landing perfectly in the hole, wherever it is. So the mole hole is supposed to be at the very top of the planet, which means that we should shift this over just a little bit. That's looking really good right there, at least for our first approach. Three, two, one, and burn. Gonna be burning here for a long while. You know, maybe this would have been easier if I put on some RCS thrusters, but we'll do what we can. As long as I can get in there, I think it should be a lot easier. Never actually landed a lander type thing before, so we're gonna have a lot of firsts with this. And we're also only about 70 kilometers from the surface, so it really gives you a sense of perspective on how small Moho is compared to Kerbin, because seven kilometers above Kerbin, the planet's still massive. I'm starting to wonder if going on a direct collision course is the best course of action, because we could use the planet to slow us down and use less delta V. Why don't we figure that out? So we get really close right here. Once we get to this point, if we burn even more retro this way, there we're captured by Moho, which would be very exciting in itself. And I have no idea if that's using more delta V than we were going to before. I kind of lost track, but then at this point we can bring this around like that. So now the periapsis is straight up and down with the point that we we're trying to get to. So I think I can be okay with this. It's going to be very hard to do because there's no atmosphere to try and slow us down. We're relying solely on gravity for this, but let's just get to that point so we can worry about it properly. And the planet is so close now. This is weird. I wonder if we can even try and see the moho from here. I don't think so, but we can get a better look at it once we make the second go around. So in three, two, one, burn, slowing way down. I wonder if we'd be able to see it better when the sun's pointing at it from an angle. And three, two, one, done. Okay, wow. Now we're about to have a sunset on Moho relative to what we're doing, which even still at the horizon line, it's super bright. And the sun is slowly disappearing and boom a moho sunset and now we're entirely in the dark now the planet just now creates a big hole in space where stars are supposed to be okay but now let's figure out the next step oh, i guess we shot a little over whoops retro a little more to drag this in so it's very easy ever so slightly and boom okay so Right about there is where we first start to hit the planet, which I think is very close to where the hole should be. And that uses very little delta V, so this is a very easy maneuver. We are now on the sunny side of Moho again, so it's right down there, but now we're on the south side. So now for this burn, I'm just gonna be watching this line. So we really don't need to wait all this long. I could just burn right now and watch this slowly come in like this, just being ready to cut the throttle, and we cut. Okay, I can work with that. It doesn't say we're on a collision course, but I mean, just look at this line right here. We're on a collision course or a landing, depending on how you look at it. I think Jeb's looking pretty optimistic. That or he has no idea what's about to happen. But now we get to watch the planet get closer. Side note, how long has this mission been? Almost a year, wow. Okay, and start to slow down, whoop, all right. We still have half of a planet to orbit, sort of. So now we need to worry about how we're gonna land this thing. Even if I can't find the hole and land in it directly, I can get close to it, and then Jebediah can just sort of walk into it. Though it would be kind of funny to get this thing down there. It's it's a golf ball, so it's almost like Destiny. Or you could say this thing is like the Traveler, in which case it's still like Destiny. But let's speed up just a little bit more. Okay, and then, okay, at this point, I think we can point retrograde to come around for a landing. I still have no idea where exactly the hole's supposed to be up here, except at the northernmost point. But I bet if we land somewhere close to it, Jeb can just sort of, you know, take a stroll to find it. We just boost this a little more. Okay, right there. Sort of like that. Sure. As long as we keep this thing pointed retrograde, we should be able to slow down enough for landing. And ideally, we'll stay on the sunny side of things so I can actually see where we're landing. We are 60, 50,000 meters from the surface. Okay. I'm really just kind of eyeballing this, but that felt like a good burn right there. We should come in for landing somewhere in that crater. I really have no idea how landing... I really have no idea how a lander is supposed to work in this game, so we're really just going for it. So I think now we'll deploy the landing gear. Watch it come out very majestically. Perfect. Whoa. Oh gosh. Uh, you weren't supposed to do that. That is not the ideal scenario right now. We just lost half of the landing gear and actually a lot of the landing gear. Okie dokie. And now he's spinning out of control. Just gotta start 
handling the burn so we can slow us down slow down the spin hopefully i have no idea where the spin is centered on but eh as long as we don't crash okay it's working i think it's working just slow down please Oh, this is getting real close. Uh, Stark got burning up and away. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Huh? Whoa. Wait, what? <laughs> we just, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's one way this could go. Uh, we sort of just passed through the surface of Moho. I don't think that was the Moho we were looking for, but at least Jeb is alive. That is, that's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> of all the scenarios that could have happened, this is not one I was expecting. And Jeb is just like, wow, this is unexpected. Which, yes, yes, it definitely is. But now the good news is we can burn safely out of here, I think. Not really sure where the retrograde point is moving now. But why don't we just go straight up and find out where we are? Okay, that might be too far. Stop. Stop. Okay, where are we? The planet ate us. We got eaten by the planet, and it says we're gonna collide right there. I have no idea what's going on anymore. How about we just point north? I think now we can point straight up. I'm really just trying to escape the planet this time, literally. Okay, we're straight up, so let's burn a little more. Okay, we're about to breach. Let's just lock it here, and... Pop! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen there anyway, but that was a very weird situation we ended up in. We didn't quite find the mohole, but we found the new secret to the planet, which is that it sort of doesn't exist. All right then. Thank you guys for watching and uh, sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Donomoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Harold.